I am super excited to welcome you to another edition of Fidelity Weekly Season 1. I am Chinere aka Social Butterfly. Thank you for making it a day. Bye. Okay, so today we have amazing people. Now, Fidelity is not all about the suit and tie and all seriousness. We get people with good talent, you know? <laughs> Very amazing talent. So um, we're going to be talking about your extra talent, your beautiful talent that, you know, has nothing to do with banking. Now, I'm going to start with Magic Fingers. Oh. When did you realize that you could play the keyboard? Oh, actually, when I started playing piano. Oh, piano. Okay. The piano, the keyboard. Okay, I know, I know. I mean, not go to school. It's like the same that. thing. All right, I started playing piano in 2004. Oh, 2004. Wow. So I started learning. Actually, okay, off the record. I hope you're not recording this. <laughs> okay. So my dad is a pastor, so I don't have any choice. <laughs> so don't I don't have any choice than to key into it. Started learning. When I wanted to learn, he stopped me at first, but I had to key into it. Since I started with the drums, where I started learning the piano when I taught about the piano, and I started playing professionally in 2015. Oh, wow. That was when I started playing professionally. I started organizing my own concerts. Because when you play the piano, it doesn't stop there. Okay. It's, it gives you the embo embodiment of music. Oh, nice. You, you, you take the whole of music yourself, the drums, the guitar, the saxophone, the strings instrument, the wind instrument, you embody everything. Mm. So, which makes you a music director. Okay. So from 2015, I've been a music director in some churches, and right now also, I just moved to Lagos, I'm also a music director. Okay, so you moved to Lagos, moved to Fidelity. You're going to play, today, like, talents would be shown in different styles. So I'm going to ask um, Dima. Now, so when you see a, when you see someone's face, and you say brush, what comes to your head? First thing that comes to my head is to make her brows perfect. I know, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the brows have to be on flame. Yeah, the brows like is the major thing. Like for me, brows are major because when your brows are not perfect, kind of makes you look with just brows and maybe a powder, you're good to go. So this is my brow now that looking haphazard now. I'm not good to go. Oh no. Oh, Lord, help me. Okay, I'm going to come to Mandy. Mandy, so um, uh, making a wig or, you know, making a lady look beautiful is something that comes easy for you. Yeah, so when did you know that you had magic fingers too? Because basically everybody has got magic. Okay, Rose, so yes. um, I got to know that I could make hair when I was quite little because when my mom probably she wants to make her hair. I'll just say, oh, mommy, come, let me just help you do the cornrows and stuff. So that was when I got interest and then I started practicing and officially when I started, like professionally was in 2017. Yeah, 2017 after school, I went to learn it. During my service year, I had to learn how to do it professionally, the wigging, the okay. treatment and yeah. everything. Cause basically when you're making a wig, Another thing is maintenance. Okay. Yeah, so I learned all the stuff together to make a woman beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Ernest, yeah. now you and the lens are like this. <laughs> so tell us your, your lens story. All right. Uh, well, just like every photographer knows, um, the lens is like an eye. It's your eye, rather. So what you do to your lens, um, also means what you can do to your eyes. So you actually see through the lens to achieve that perfect imagery okay. that you have in mind. Okay. Um, for me, I started photography back then in 20, 2008, okay. yeah, when I was in school. And um, it all happened when I finished my diploma course and I was stranded, waiting for results. So while looking for you know, one or two jobs mm -hmm. to, to, to survive, I had this um, um, friend who also stays around the neighborhood. He's also a student, and he has a photo studio. Oh, nice. So <clears throat> instead of just sitting down home, I decided to just go there and pass time. Okay. So while I was there, I saw what he did, or what he does, rather. So I decided to give it a try. Okay. And 
I developed that passion. Okay. You know, because one thing about photography, um, if you don't, if you're not artistic, you may not really achieve, yeah. achieve, achieve it. Mm -hmm. You get so you need to be artistic. You need to create that picture in mind first okay. before you put it to reality. So I saw what he was doing, and I felt if this guy could do this, I think I can mm -hmm. do better. Mm -hmm. You know, so I took it up, and you won't believe I learned the the I learned photography the basics just for five days. Wow. And out of my determination, I decided to go on the street looking for a job, photography job. Fortunately for me, I got one, and um, that was where, where I started. And um, though it wasn't easy, <laughs> seriously, I must tell you because there people want to take that. That, that wasn't Benin. You know, they want to take advantage of the fact that, okay, you're a learner, you're a beginner, yeah, so you know, you they'll low. price you very low. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I tell you the, the, the salary I earn then, you know, of course, after, even before the moon ends, you finish spending your, your oh, pay. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I started working there, um, um, doing the photography thing and also learning editing. But there was something very, very um, um, striking I did. Okay. Uh, I gave myself time. Once I close by five, okay. I go back to the guy who introduced me to his uncle, okay, to learn you know, more. to learn more. So I, I learned for one hour. So I give myself like a homework. What I learned there, I go back to the office the next morning to practice. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, so I did that for a while and that was how my story started. Amazing. So, um, Dima, let me ask you this. You know, um, this, this uh, makeup thingy, it's not always easy. You have very cranky clients. You have people who have bad odor, you know, skin, skin blemish, you know? Yeah. You have to, your hands have to be clean at all times, especially with the health hazards now, yeah? So, how do you manage uh, cranky customers? How do you manage health issues? Um, for health issues, you just have to keep your brushes clean okay. and have different brushes for those kind of customers. You don't okay. use the same brushes for people that have health issues, like say the eczema okay, or whatever. Yeah. You won't use it for someone that has a clean skin. Okay, yes. so you have a separate brush for that kind of person. You wash it, okay. sanitize them and all that. For cranky customers, hmm, you just have to follow them more. <laughs> Anyhow, they are your customers, they are paying you, calm them down, make them understand that you're doing something beautiful, beautiful for them. them. And just make sure you give them what they want. Mm -hmm. Don't do what they don't want. Because okay. most, of cranky, most of the cranky customers, they actually want you to do what they want, okay. what they've seen in the picture. They mm -hmm. have their, they, they have, the exactly, they, wa they want it that way. Okay. So don't tell them, no, I can do it some other way. So you just do it the way they want, okay. basically. So mm -hmm. peace to range. Even when it doesn't fit them. I was going to say that. It was like, it you don't have to be there. And not this is what I ordered. This is what I got. <laughs> okay, so Mandy, I'm going to ask you here. Yeah, how long does it take for you to make your hair perfect? Okay, if it's a wig, if I don't have any other thing to do aside wig and it's two hours max. Okay. Then if it's on someone's head, it's one hour plus. Mm, amazing. So, um, Sam, how long... Can it take you to teach somebody? Like, how long can somebody, can the person, like, I mean, no neophyte. I, like, I don't know anything that has to do with keyboards or pianos. So how many months, how many days can it take me to learn? Okay. At least the basics. All right. Actually, learning something, it has to do with um, talent first. Okay. Do you have the talent or do you have the passion for it? So when you have the passion for it, I bet you three months you are good with the basics. Three months you go with the basics. If, if you have the passion for it. If I have the passion for the money I get, I can do it for two months. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have the passion for it, three months you go with the basics. Oh, nice. It's piano basics. Okay, guys, so I know everybody's itching to see this talent I've been talking about. So we have a muse in the house. So Dima is going to be doing something on the face, whilst Mandy will be doing a wig and. Um, Definitely, Sammy is going to play some nice tunes. We have a whole lot for you. And Mr. Lenz, she's going to showcase some very beautiful picture. You know, you know. All right, so I'll be right back with all this. Stay tuned.
No one should tease me for that song. Thank you very much. All accolades should go to, yes, yeah, Sammy. And have a beautiful weekend. We are Fidelity. We keep our word.